Despite the full clear meta, Sejuani is dominating each elo bracket with an average 51% or higher win rate across the board. So in this video, I'll be showing how to approach jungling with Sejuani for some free LP gains. In this game, I'm playing at Diamond 2 elo, and my reasoning for starting red buff is so I can path towards bot lane, which is extremely easy for me to gank, because the enemy bot lane is playing Twitch Senna. Because Sejuani is made for ganking and not for full clearing, I'm going for a standard 5 cam pathing here, just so I can stay efficient while I look for ganks. Also, since we saw Trundle start red buff, we know he's pathing towards top, and that means bot lane ganks and crab will be uncontested. The way I look for ganks is by looking at my lanes as my champion moves between camps, as you'll see. The wave is coming in bot lane and Twitch is nearly half HP. I really want to hit 3 fast and move down if it still looks gankable by then. After hitting 3 I look to gank bot lane but while they sit in fog of war I just go to farm my grom so I'm not wasting time. As soon as I finish my Gromp, they start fighting bot lane and this is a prime opportunity for me to come in and gank. Ezreal picks up Twitch but had I not arrived here, Senna would have won the fight. After this successful gank, I'm going to help push the wave as it's quite big before I go for my own crab. While walking, I ping on the map for my top laner to play safe because Trundle should be around for a gank of his own. I start recalling in the bush since I have enough gold for Bami Cinder, but when Kiana shows up and has to extend this far into the lane, this is quite an easy gank to pull off with the Twisted Fate. So of course I go for the free pickup. And I push the wave again to deny Kiana minions. I really want to recall here, but we spot Trundle topside and with my mid laner and support we could easily fight this and win 4 versus 2. We force flashes and I'm just going to return to farming here because I'm already topside anyway. And bot lane looks like it would be gankable after I'd finished Krugs and Raptors. I look to reset but after seeing how gankable bot lane is I just run straight down. After seeing Twitch go into Fog of War though, I should have just reset or continued farming but unfortunately I did make the mistake of greeting for the gank which ended up in a lot of wasted time. I also messed up here greeting for mid gank because of Set's pings, even though I know this should never work out. This is why I recommend Mew All, especially in Bronze, Silver, Gold where your laners don't understand anything. On my recall I head bot side because that's where my camps are up. After securing the crab, I looked to get in position for a gank bot lane, but I also could have just went mid from the looks of it. I blast cone over the wall so I don't get spotted out by a potential tribush ward. But again, I'm tunnel visioned on the set ping and revealed myself way too soon. The lane was set up perfectly for a gank when Ezreal would return to lane, and I could have just looked for Trondal's Krugs for 6 while I waited for the play. And if it was no longer available, I could have looked mid or went back to my camps. While there are no available plays, I'll just farm. Since Trundle just died top, I can look to do dragon or gank bot lane before doing the dragon. The reason I continue chasing here is because I can see TF moving on the map. At this stage we're too low and we're on cooldown so it's my bad to be continuing the fight here.
Doing the dragon on this health is way too greedy. And dying here makes securing the dragon not even worth it. On the respawn, I'm back to topside because this is where my camps have respawned. TF is here with me and we have top prior, so this is definitely a fight I'm looking for. With the gold card and the CC chain, this is just way too easy. Instead of wolves, I go for herald here because it provides more value. Since I have ulti and herald, I really want to make a play here and I just saw Kiana go on my TF, so this is looking like a free kill into herald. But unfortunately, Kiana had a control ward here. I miss my abilities here and my TF gets one shot, unfortunately, but at least I get to pick up the Kiana. I think about dropping the Herald mid, but I don't really want the gold on myself. So after seeing this play bot lane, I run straight down. Because after picking up these kills, we can look for that Herald tower break. After the play, I look to see if Trundle has Krugs up, but since he doesn't, I'm just going to reset since I have a lot of gold on me. The mid game has begun, and since it's not immediately obvious to me which side of the map I should be on, I walk down mid to have time to decide, as my coaching students would know. As the dragon is spawning soon, I want to help get the mid wave in so we can control the area as we are ahead. Because we're grouped up and ahead, this dragon is uncontested. Because we found a nice pick on Kiana and Senna is low, we're able to just group up and siege here. Unfortunately, my Ezreal ease forward when we can see Kiana on the map and gets absolutely annihilated. And since there are no plays to make on the map, I just farm until I can see something to participate in. Setting up to find picks. TF is finding a nice pick here and since everyone is moving downwards and a fight might break out, I'm also on my way. This is a 3v3 while Ezreal is on his way here, but it's definitely a fight I'm looking to take as we're ahead and have a lot of CC. Unfortunately, I didn't get to secure the dragon. We found a relatively nice fight here, but unfortunately it's not enough for us to secure the Baron and try to secure the game. Oh, 
I spot out the Kiana bot side and I'm really looking to make a pick on her because we really need to get the Baron to secure the game. Thankfully she walks into me here and I get to just one shot her. We managed to secure the Baron, but we've got to get the Dragon next. And once I see that, this Illaoi is completely out of position away from her whole team. This is such a free pickup. We're so close to ending the game, we just need to make one more team fight happen and not throw. Thankfully, Senna and Kiana were caught out of position. And with this, we finally managed to end the game. If you found this video useful and want to learn more about jungle strategy, make sure to check this video out next and consider subscribing or supporting the channel. Anyway, see you next time.